Uh, uh, the Lord gave me a, a song. Uh, it was a year. Uh, it was a year and a half ago. Uh, 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 it was a year, a year before last on Good Friday. And uh, the song really hit, 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 hit me more to me now than, 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 than you know you know when we when we when we you know when we give it to me. It hit it's real special to me now. Which is more special than what it used to be. Uh, uh, what, what, what it was is, uh, uh, well, that's not good. Yeah, it's Uh, where is you, Jesus? The Lord gave me this song and says, I am the man, I am the man. And uh, uh, the what was I was to find in the Bible, I, I, I was in the Bible and I was in the Bible and I was in these crosses with Jesus, you know, nailed up there. You know, we, uh, but, 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 but they really don't go into details about, about, about them crucifying them. They, uh, they, they, uh, they just said they just crucified them. Yeah. Really, brother, they really uh, laid him down and nailed hand, uh, nails, nails in his hands right. and his feet. Man. And I never could find it uh, about, uh, about, uh, about, uh, about him nailing you know, in his feet. Until last uh, last Easter, last uh, Easter was already over. It was it was Easter evening. Yeah. What 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 is so special about the, what I'm telling you is the time and is the Lord give me give, give me that song on Good Friday. It was Friday evening. Our, our brother Jesse, it was about six or six thirty. He he gave me that song. Yeah. And then last Easter. Easter was already over, and then he let me find that in the Bible. And you, you, you know, you, you know where they nailed him in his feet. Yeah. And it was in Luke 24 40. And I got so excited, I, I just want to go and tell everybody. I said, Man, let's go. I'm, I'm going to go to church and, yeah. and tell everybody. You know what I mean? Right.
Yeah. I seen a woman that said it, maybe as a harlot. I said he seen a man that said he's looking upon the sick one. Somebody said it was. Uh, maybe just kind of tell the back story. I don't know it word for word. Just trying to. Uh, but I thought maybe he had a said seen a sick one once. And seen that man. Said it uh, maybe a, uh, not much understanding. Seen him coming down the way. Said he went by. Maybe the heart of us there. And, uh, maybe she began to, uh, what, I, what I would say is enticing. Uh, maybe we'll try to read some of it, but I thought how it uh, uh, said it. Um, For at the window of my house I looked through uh, my casement and beheld among the simple ones I discerned among the youths a young man void of understanding passing through the street near a corner. And he went the way to her house. I thought maybe to her this morning as I was reading that, I maybe uh, seen how maybe he was going, uh, didn't understand, maybe didn't even know what he was about to walk into. I uh, didn't even know what was down there, but he said he was going toward the corner, uh, maybe toward her house. I uh, thought maybe as he was going down there, I, I, the way I looked at it, he got caught unaware. Uh, got caught unaware. That's what I'd like to come tell you today, don't get caught unaware. I tell you the end, he's coming down to hurry. Uh, but things we've never seen before, let's not get caught unaware. Uh, I, I know sometimes messages like this don't go over, and some people want you to preach something and make you shout. This is our make you shout this one today. Uh, this is our make you shout that you got a warning uh, to watch you pray. I, uh, that's what's been on me the last little bit, Jesse. Uh, I prayed and uh, seemed like uh, for a while now the Lord has been on me about warning people to make sure to watch and pray to, uh, to seek Him like we know to seek Him. I, I know the time we're in, it seems like uh, convenience is killing us, Terry. Uh, convenience is what's killing us. It's uh, everywhere you go, you go to the gas station. They got all the food you want. Uh, you go right down the road. They got wings, McDonald's, anything. It's at our convenience now. It's easy if we want to go and eat. Uh, I seen the uh, last little bit. I don't know about you, but uh, fasting seems like uh, getting harder and harder. Uh, uh, for me, I don't know how, how it is for you. Uh, we still try to, but I, I tell you, see, by the end, we try to take the desire uh, right out of us to seek God because He knows uh, what He's trying to do. He's trying to catch people unaware. These things don't just come out of nowhere. Uh, these things that, 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 that are coming, uh, maybe they, that He's setting them up over time. Uh, we have failed to, to, to watch and to pray and to see them. Uh, he's slipping in little places that we've got not coming. Uh, I told him maybe that uh, black star went down there a little while back to preach. Uh, and have the armor. If you're missing one piece, uh, one piece of that armor, uh, that, man, that, that enemy will come in. Uh, if you ain't, if you got one piece sh uh, showing, uh, not fitly tightened down, I'm telling you, that enemy will come in. Uh, and I told him like this, it, it's, it, it's like this, uh, maybe a small crack in the road. Uh, it looks just, you can't even hardly see it uh, when it starts, but over time that water will get down in there. And before you know it, uh, there's a big old pothole in the road. Uh, that's what the enemy likes to do. He likes to sneak in those, right. those little gaps. Uh, I, I'm telling you, uh, if we watch and pray, though, I ain't come to discourage one day, oh, but if we we'll watch and pray, I'm telling you, we make it. Uh, I don't like us going to tell people that maybe the end is coming. That ain't what I'm trying to do. We know it's coming. Uh, we know it's coming against God's people. We all understand that. But I'm telling you, if we don't watch and pray, He will come in. I've seen Him come in here lately, uh, just close to home, really. I'll be honest with you. Uh, things that we would have never thought would have happened, things that we never thought we would have seen, He's coming in. Just on wire. Uh, and I, I'll be honest with you, I, this is why I got out of this this morning. Uh, the Bible said that, that she uh, began to maybe entice him, uh, maybe talking to him, and so, she said, I'm going to skip down a little bit. It said, So she called him and kissed him, and with an impudent face said unto him, I have peace offerings with me this day, have I paid my vows? Therefore come I forth to meet thee diligently to seek thy face, and I have found thee. I thought maybe she told him, uh, on down, maybe on the read all. Now the good man is, uh, is not at home. He's on a long journey. But the Bible said, he said, with her much fire speech, 
She calls him to you. And that's what I, I, I maybe that's why I read this morning, that's what I got. Calls him to give that fire speech. I tell you what in me, he's coming in, he's coming in. I tell about times if you buy your colors blue, uh, he ain't going to come at you with orange, he's going to at you with blue. But if we'll be ready, uh, if we'll watch and pray. I, and I, I, believe he's, I believe he's fighting our people like we've never seen before. Uh, I don't know uh, how you are. I, I, I don't know. I, I can't hardly remember a lot of people uh, from when I was younger. But I'm telling you, uh, I've seen him Terry to fight me this last little bit more than he ever has before. Yeah. I, I believe because he knows he's got a short time to work. Uh, I, I, and I really do. I believe, I believe that man he knows he's got just a short time to work. Right. And he's causing people to leave the fold. He's causing people uh, to leave his life. Not even ready. Uh, and I, I, I wouldn't want nobody to leave here not ready, Terry. I tell you, that's why I believe that man called me into this. I'm willing to go back to the lost people. I, I love the lost. I, I love the way the soul story. Uh, it means something to me. That's my rejoicing in this. Uh, down here is the wind souls. Uh, uh, and that's what we're trying to do. I told them maybe at uh, Black Star a little bit back, uh, maybe drop something that's a little harder to swallow. And I, I, I knew that it was kind of, uh, uh, it was just that it's hard to take in, I guess. Uh, but but the way I, I seen it was that it's saving souls, Terry. Uh, just if you lost, you lost. You know, we want to bring you in. But this right here is what to save souls. Uh, the days that approaching us, let's not let it catch us unaware and that's saving uh, souls. Uh, that's what I'm trying to do uh, today. It's cause people to get their uh, turn. I want to see you, mate. I didn't have a whole lot. Go on, go on. I want to do my little part. I want to see no more miss it. I sure don't want to miss it myself. I, I, I don't want to see you miss out on it. I, I, I don't know. Uh, maybe it was a praying today. I told the Lord. I uh, don't know uh, about nobody here. Don't know. Uh, no. Don't know none of your business. Don't want to know none of your business. Uh, but I'll tell you what I got this morning to come up here and tell you. Don't get caught on the wire. Uh, we can think that we know right where we're at. I'm telling you, man, we can use that to blind us today. Uh, we may, I, I tell you, I believe we got people who live good, live clean. That's why I believe. I, I believe that you live as, uh, as close as you want to live. Uh, that's how I believe it. Uh, but don't let that just catch you and think that's all you got to do. Because uh, that ain't just all we got to do. Because it's part of it. If uh, that ain't all we got to do, we got to watch and pray. Watch and pray. And look for that. I tell you, if we watch, I believe the Lord will show us. Uh, I do not tell the wife coming up the road today. I said, I do not believe uh, that, that that man, uh, the way I, I guess I was saying was, I do not believe he brought us this far to fail us. Uh, I do not believe he let anything get on us. It's too, too much for us. I do not believe God would put something on us that we could not handle. Right. I believe his word says he would. Uh, I'm telling you, the enemy will try to put something on you that you cannot handle. He'll put something on you that you cannot take, that, you, uh, that you're not even able to take. Uh, he wants to do that to you so you'll fall. Uh, that man to people, I'm telling you. I've never seen a time like this. It's been a, a grievous a weekend. I'll be honest with you. Uh, uh, the weekend, it, it's, it's felt like a, just a grievous weekend. Uh, felt like you couldn't even. I, I woke up Saturday and uh, a lot of you know what happened. Maybe heard some news. I'm telling you, Terry, I couldn't even hardly eat. It, it just, I couldn't even hardly, I didn't even know what to do. Tried to go out a little bit and work it off, you know, try to uh, do things around the house. I'm telling you what the enemy's doing to people. I'm telling you, it breaks my heart today. Uh, the enemy's causing people to leave this life. Not ready to miss it. Uh, causing people to leave this life. Uh, things coming upon them. I'm telling you that we would look and we would look at people turn and thought that that would never happen to somebody. That's what he's doing today. He's trying to destroy them. He's trying to destroy them. He knows he can't do much. So Joe, I believe it was Joe. Uh, he said, I can't do nothing to it. You got a hedge about it. Yeah. Uh, but when he let that hedge down, it was the only way the enemy could get in. Uh, I'm telling you, if you leave that hedge today and you're walking out in danger, uh, if you walk out in front of God today, I'm telling you, you can't get ahead of God. If you get ahead of Him today,
today, you walking out in trouble. You're on your own, You're on your own today. I've been, and I'm going to tell you, if you follow too far back, you're still in trouble. Uh, I, I just tell us uh, today to stay close as we can. Uh, I believe if we hold to that man, I believe we stay close to him and hold right to him. I don't believe we, uh, we'll miss him. I believe we'll make it today. Uh, I believe what he's gave us uh, in that word and what he's showed us. I believe we got enough to make it today. Yeah, I, do. I, I don't believe that man. This, it, he, didn't, he didn't design this thing for us to fail. Mm -hmm. I, I do believe it's a, it's a straight way. And the Bible said few you that be there find it. Uh, and many find that big that yeah. why I don't let uh, maybe right. God that's the way me and what there is. Uh, I tell you, there's a few that's found it, and I believe yeah. we found it. Uh, and I do not believe it's impossible for us to make it. Uh, I believe I believe we can make it this morning Lord or today. Uh, I believe we can. I, I, don't, I don't believe that, that He set this thing up for us to fail. Right. Uh, we, I know it's going to be. Uh, the Bible said that the righteous man scarce to make it worth uh, maybe the uh, sin and the ungodly maybe, but uh, I tell you, I still believe we make it. Uh, uh, we're going to have to stay close to God. You all come on. Let's get on with a little bit. Thank you, brother.
know last night, some here wasn't with us last night. Don't, I know there's things that happen that confuses and things that are hurtful. And you wonder how can you be this way? And I'm just telling you, children, people fail to pray and get victory. It's one thing to pray and feel good. It's another thing to pray until you pray through on something and God gives you victory. We've been satisfied with a little bit of a shout. Don't get me wrong. I hope you shout before you go home. I'd like to shout with you. But there are going to be days you're not going to feel like shouting. There will be times that you're not going to feel like running up down the aisle. There will be times that you won't already have a song within you to sing. But you can get a hold of God in such a way that in times like that, there's something down inside of you that will not let go. Something down inside that will keep you praying and holding on to God. But you've got to do what the Lord has taught you to do. Little brother, preach good to us. Get started out here. Look like he's Make a good start. Be careful. Be careful, son, and everything. Get pat you on the back and hug your neck as a brother or sister. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah to God. That's that, that's that heart that you've done talking about. That's that heart of church. It's out there with smooth, smooth sayings and sweet sayings under the children, those the simple ones that aren't praying and watching and fasting and getting a hold of God. And that, that whore church that comes along and begins to try to seduce the children of God to let down and to back up and to go another way. And you're not seeking God. Brother, you say, I won't do it. I'll tell you today, you'll do it if you're not close to God. If you're not seeking the Lord. If you're not shouting.
when these last things begin to be straightened out and fall in line, and there will come that last trump of God and the saints of God, those that are dead, are going to rise. Come on now. And those that are dead, those that they get up, they go up, that body and that soul come together and the world my body and then all of us that are alive remain. We'll all be changed. But those that are not watching and are not praying, Praise the Lord can talk to you just a little bit. Yeah. Let me tell you why you're so grouchy. You're not praying. That's true, brother. Tell you why Hollywood looks good to some of you young folks. You're not praying. Hallelujah to God. Tell you why some of these worldly places seem more entertaining to you on a Saturday night than the house of God. You ain't praying. I tell them family night is in the house of the Lord. This is our family. Amen. 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 By the little things begin to come back, the things God delivered you from, you started to turn back and do them again. You're not praying. You're not watching. You think you're stronger than the enemy? We'll take it. We can't fight that devil by ourselves. You can't handle the enemy on your own. You can stand and rebuke him all day long, but unless you've got something to live inside of you that has power over that devil, he'll laugh in your face and mock at you and go right ahead and do what he wants to do. But to end the way to get a hold of the Holy Ghost. Oh, yeah. When he rebukes that devil, the devil must obey. Are we watching? Are we praying? Before we carried away, as brother said, the cares of this life, the deceitfulness of riches, it's getting a hold of our people. We've got more children of God that have set the house and planning to live in this world than used to have the mindset that this world is not my home. I'm just passing through this. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. I don't want to be the church down the road. I want to be the church of the living God. Amen. I don't want to be the world of church. Come on. I want to be the church of the living God. Praise the Lord. He said, Come out from among them and be you separate. Say who? Say it who? Say it the Lord. But there's many, many women that feel like they can get in there a little bit with the world and claim God too. It doesn't work that way. Praise the Lord. That's why the standards of holiness is being dropped from these churches. They're letting the folks begin to live however they want to live. And tell their grandma and grandpa that they love to testify about the power of God that moved in their life. That they had just maybe a misunderstanding of what it really means. I'm going to tell you they have more wisdom, more knowledge and understanding than the greatest scientists in this world today. They do to fear God. There is no better wisdom than to fear God. That's the beginning of all wisdom is to fear God. How many are watching? How many are praying? How many are ready? What do we do like we said last night? We just become reactive to the things around us. We pray when we get in trouble. If we're not in trouble, we don't pray like we know to. We pray when we want God to move in something for us, but if we don't have nothing pressing us, we don't pray like we do. Come on. Praise the Lord. We wait until sickness gets on us. Then we start to pray. We're supposed to be proactive. Get out ahead of it. Get out ahead of trouble. I don't know what your trouble is. I don't know what's waiting tomorrow, this evening. I don't know what's next week. If we don't need to be here. But if we are, I know who we're going to have to have with us. I know who I need. I need Jesus. I can't live without Him. I can't make you without it. That man on the inside, you're looking at the vessel. You're just looking at the house that I dwell in. It's me, I'm down on the inside. That man on the inside is trying to make it to heaven. The greatest enemy we've got is that devil. But a close second place is that man in the mirror. That one that we look upon daily. That's a close second place. Praise God. He's the one that gets me in trouble. Don't ever say that the devil made me do something. He never made me do a thing. No, brother. He never made me do a thing. I just, I just related. I gave in. I gave up. I surrendered. Praise God. I'm a son of the The Lord is going to come back by. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Yeah, and people 
watch him like they need to. Looking out and looking at the signs of the things that's going on around us. Looking at the changes that's coming on. Praise the Lord. We know, children, that in just a, a few more weeks' time, it won't be too much longer. You're going to wake up one morning and you're going to feel that fall coming. You look out and you see the sun is shining a little bit different. You know that summer is waxing old and fall is soon coming. You can see that and you know that, right? But look around you and see. Look around and see. Hallelujah. Has that enemy accomplished to scatter the power of the holy people? And got the people of God more divided and separated now than they ever have. Praise the Lord. He learned a while back. Years ago, he'd persecute the church, burn them at the stake, feed them to the wild beasts. You know what would happen? It would inspire the children of God. they get a boldness about them. And they begin to go out and make more children of God. And the more that he smoked the church, it spread out wildfire. So it changed his plan. And now, instead of the fortune and torment for now, now it's relaxation. And comfort and soothing.
uh, thank him for his word. I want him to be here like a type better. But Dan already hindered me with my family. Um, I thank the Lord for making a way for me to be here today. And, um, it'll be two years in October that he gave me a song. And, and the way the preacher went today, I feel like I failed him if I didn't try to sing it. Um, um, I woke up uh, one morning just saying that I was walking through the house, walking through my apartment, and just, I'd never heard it before, and I looked online to see if I could, where I'd heard it, you know, and uh, and I couldn't find it anywhere, and I just thought, uh, thank the Lord, and I just, um,